Commuters in flood-affected New South Wales are being urged to avoid all non-essential travel as the rail network is hit by landslips and fallen trees across the tracks. The relentless rain has smashed records and no corner of Sydney has been spared from the northwest to the south coast. Roads have become rivers and entire suburbs are submerged. On the northern beaches, residents are returning to widespread damage as the Manly Dam continues to spill. While gale force winds already lashing parts of Sydney could cause carnage down the coast. Let's go straight to our reporters, Manar Zanguri, who's by the Hawkesbury River at Windsor, and Cecilia Connell on Sydney's northern beaches. Hello to both of you again. Manaz, can you tell me what's the situation like there this morning where you are. Morning, Lisa. Well, major flooding is continuing here in the Hawkesbury area. And as you can see behind me, the Hawkesbury River here is continuing to rise. And that's led to the Windsor Bridge flooding and shutting down as well. Now, I spoke to SCS earlier this morning. They said they are expecting the Hawkesbury River here in Windsor to peak today at around midday. It'll peak up 14.3 metres, which is higher than what we saw this time last year. Now, once it peaks, they are hoping that it'll start to recede over the next day or two so they can go in and assess the damage. Uh, so we're not sure exactly exactly how long it will take for everything to settle down but they're expecting the water here to stay around for at least a couple of weeks. Now in terms of evacuation orders, these are still in place in these areas. As we know last week we saw evacuation orders being issued for a number of different suburbs like parts of uh, North Richmond, parts of Windsor, uh, Lower Portland, Sackville and Wiseman Ferry. Those are still in place and another one was actually added to the list last night. People living in McGrath Valley were told to leave by 7pm as well. So residents who are affected are still being told that it's not safe for them to return home but the SCS have said that people have been extremely cooperative the people in this area have had to face situations like this in the past as well so compliance has not been an issue here's what the Hawkesbury mayor had to say about how people are handling everything look people are still pretty resilient um, but they're over it they're feeling frustrated um, just feels like we're taking a total battering like can't catch a break um, so you know the Hawkesbury people are great and they'll get through it but understandably um, you know it's, it's not doesn't feel very fair on us at the moment. Yeah, I can imagine that's how they're feeling. Cecilia, you're on the northern beaches. We saw some incredible scenes from there yesterday as that rain kept coming and it just became a swamp. That's right, Lisa. The roads around Sydney's northern beaches, particularly Pittwater Road, which is one of the main thoroughfares here, just became lakes of water with flash flooding causing havoc on the roads yesterday. Now, the situation has eased somewhat here overnight on Sydney's northern beaches with evacuation orders downgraded. However, authorities are still urging residents to monitor the situation with some very strong winds forecast today with gusts of up to 90 kilometres per hour and a severe weather warning for damaging and hazardous surf which could cause some issues today. So authorities urging people to, to keep an eye on this situation. Now as I said those evacuation orders that had been issued for parts of the northern beaches were downgraded. So I'm here at Narrabeen Lagoon where some of the, the low-lying properties had been ordered to evacuate yesterday. However they were advised that they could return to their properties just before midnight with caution. Also, the Manly Dam began to spill yesterday with around 800 properties impacted there. They were subject to evacuation orders. That's also been downgraded. But as you were saying, Lisa, some tremendous scenes around Manly Vale in particular and the, the Roseville Bridge with flooding causing havoc yesterday. It's still quite wet on the roads this morning, so something to be very mindful of today. Yeah, and just looking at those pictures, Cecilia, it, it's just incredible looking at the force of the water on those streets and the power with which it was washing things away. Um, thank you so much for the update and thank you, Mark Naz, as well, to tell us what's going on there on the Hawkesbury.